brought down the price of prescription drugs, which is a major issue for many people. To $15 for, for uh, an insulin shot as opposed to $400. No senior has to pay more than $200 for any drug, all the drugs they can include beginning next year. In a situation, and we're going to make that available to everybody, to all Americans. The greatest economy in the history of our country. Uh, we have never done so well. Every, everybody was amazed by it. Other countries were copying us. We got hit with COVID. Well, look, the greatest economy in the world. He, he's the only one that thinks that, I think. I don't know anybody else that thinks that they had the greatest economy in the world. And, you know, the fact of the matter is that uh, we found ourselves in this situation. History. I also gave you the largest regulation cut in history. That's why we had all the jobs. And the jobs went down, and then they bounced back. And he's taking credit for bounce-back jobs. You can't do that. He also said he inherited 9% inflation. No, he inherited almost no inflation, and it stayed that way for 14 months. And then it blew up under his leadership because they spent money like a bunch of people that didn't know what they were doing. And they don't know what they were doing. It was the worst, probably the worst administration in history there's never been. And as far as Afghanistan is concerned, I was getting out of Afghanistan, but we were getting out with dignity, with strength, with power. He got out. It was the most embarrassing day in the history of our country's life. We're like a third world nation. He had the largest national debt of any president in a four-year period, number one. Number two, he got $2 trillion tax cut benefited the very wealthy. What I'm going to do is fix the tax system. For example, we have a 1,000 trillionaires in America. If they just paid 24% or 25%, either one of those numbers, they'd raise $500 million, billion dollars, I should say, in a 10-year period. We'd be able to right wipe out his debt. We'd be able to help make sure that all those things we need to do, child care, elder care, making sure that we continue to strengthen our health care system, making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. And you have the mic. Every single thing you said is a lie. Every single one. For example, veterans are a hell of a lot better off since I passed the PACT Act. One million of them now have insurance and their families have it. Their families have it because what happened, whether it was Agent Orange or burn pits, they're all being covered now. And he opposed, his group opposed that. My son was not a loser, was not a sucker. You're a sucker, you're the loser. Uh, first of all, that was a made up quote. Can't stand this guy. They can't stand him. No, you know, they talk about numbers. You can double those numbers, maybe triple those numbers. And Nancy Pelosi, if you just watched the news from two days ago, I didn't have sex with a porn star, number one. Jake, both of you know that story has been totally wiped out because when you see the sentence, it said 100% exoneration on this. So he just keeps it going. He says he ran because of Charlotte's fate. brain damage 